It is September the 1st, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in St. Simon Sound. I just want to take a minute here and look at this image. This is of Hurricane Ida rolling into Louisiana, um, and this area that it impacted, uh, there's some guys who are working out on the site and they have family uh, in these areas, uh, friends, homes out there, and they've, they've suffered some damage. And uh, certainly they're on our minds right now. Uh, we're, we're hoping uh, for a speedy recovery for the area. We know the situation is going to be bad for a while. Um, we're thinking about you guys out there. Now back out at the site. We got out today. Uh, we're still, uh, as we're approaching, we're still noticing that the uh, straps uh, have not yet been uh, placed on the cutting uh, or the lifting lugs of the Golden Ray section. But there was some activity going out, going on out there. First of all, let me tell you that it was rough out there today. Had a pretty strong uh, south southwest breeze, very stiff breeze, uh, blowing across the site today, and um, had some pretty good, pretty good uh, swells out there on the on the site. Uh, kind of uncomfortable day to be in a small boat. And here we see the the crews. Um, Working the, working the site, the environmental boats, uh, the crew boats, all these small boats out on the site. And we were only out there for a very short period of time. But you can see these, these boats are kind of pitching and rolling, and uh, it, it was a pretty rough day. Well, that said, you know, we got out there, and first thing we saw, uh, that there was uh, no real cutting going on. Uh, we didn't see any movement. But we noticed some things were uh, were happening, and we started there on the west side or the inshore block. Uh, once we got got around and started to to kind of peek in there, we could see uh, that the chain was was up really high. At first, when we first got out of the site, and we're going to show you, you can kind of see that now as it starts to come in. The chain was up, um, up, up kind of high, and uh, while we were out there, and keep in mind, we we're, when we go out onto the site, we're not out for an extended period of time. This is just a little snapshot of the day uh, when we're out there, but the chain was up pretty pretty high, so it looked like they were they were kind of pulling it back towards this this inshore side of the wreck, and then. As they were seeing this going on and kind of easing around uh, the wreck, we noticed that the chain on this side comes back over to the VB. Uh, and it wasn't uh, very long after that we could see uh, what appeared to be sparks from a, a torch uh, kind of in this area. And so what we're pretty sure is going on here is uh, they were shortening this chain. Um, you know, when the, as they progress through the through the hull and start making their way up, um, they've got to take some of that uh, their, their slack that's generated in the chain through that process. So they have to have to shorten the chain, and we think that's that's what we were seeing today. Uh, as the uh, operation was kind of unfolding, there it, it looked like that was indeed what was going on, and now. Uh, we kind of get around to the offshore side, and we, we see an old familiar friend hanging from the block on the offshore side, and that's that wildcat block. Now, we've seen the wildcat block. You know, Not only is it used to help control the angle of the cut once they get to a certain point, it helps them to control the angle of the cutting chain, of that anchor chain, while they're pulling on it. Um, but sometimes we've seen it uh, for while they're... Uh, changing out a chain or something like that. So we won't really know for sure if the Wildcat block is is in operation as part of the cutting apparatus until they get everything uh, rigged up and back in operation. But we did see the Wildcat block in play today, and maybe this is a sign that you know the the the, the prog progression of the cut is moving along at a pretty uh, pretty good clip, and they're to that point that they need to get that wildcat block installed 
to try and uh, control that angle again of the chain uh, across the top side of the ship. We've got some pictures coming up a little closer up. And um, for those that we, I know we've had a lot of new subscribers that are kind of new to the channel and um, everybody's, you know, the questions and people are, uh, are, they're quick to ask questions about kind of looking through the videos to kind of understand what's going on. And I guess I kind of get that uh, for you, for you guys that are here with the Menorca Navy that have, have been, been with us for a while. Uh, you guys have, have kind of seen this process repeated, uh, quite a few times now. So you, you kind of know the drill, but this, this wildcat block is, has been part of the operation, uh, throughout the cut and it is used. We'll see it used towards, uh, the, again, the end of the cut. And it is uh, to help control uh, the angle of the chain so that they can continue with that aggressive bite on those decks and hull pieces and uh, whatever, whatever other debris that they're encountering uh, down in the, in the Golden Ray. So uh, it's, it's when we see that thing in operation, collectively we know that... Uh, that wildcat block is, is there as they're getting towards uh, that point and heading into the home stretch, if you will, of the cutting operation. So maybe, maybe this, this is a great sign that they are getting, getting very close to being finished with this last cut. And we're certainly knocking on wood, crossing our fingers, uh, all that good stuff. They don't have any problems or issues and it'll continue at a, at a good clip and they can go ahead and get get this uh last last piece of the golden ray separated into these two pieces hey menorcan navy cap mandy coming to you from the menorcan mullet hey it's good to be back again uh, especially getting out of the site seeing the operation here on the last cut where we're going to see these last two pieces left in the sound uh, hopefully we'll see those out of here shortly and be able to say we are ship free in the st simon sound we know the operation is going to continue they still have a lot of work to do but uh, it's good to see this see them on the last cut um, i know you a lot of you guys uh, are watching here and have a uh, family and friends that are uh, in the state of Louisiana down there where the uh, Hurricane Ida came through. Uh, we're certainly thinking about them. And we're just going to ask that maybe uh, you take a second and, and think about uh, what's going on down there with those folks and the issues that, that uh, they're facing right now. Uh, I can't think of a worse time to have a situation where you're in need of building supplies, uh, maybe appliances that are damaged in floods. It's very difficult, it seems like, to get anything here during this pandemic. Um, we know that they've got, they've got a tough row uh, to hoe, uh, but we also know that those Cajuns are resilient, and we know they'll bounce back better and stronger than ever uh, down in South Louisiana. Uh, we're certainly thinking about it. Hey, we're going to ask you if you haven't done it yet, click on that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Let them know you like the videos. Keep the comments coming. We enjoy reading those. And most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.